This is a poem titled, My Dog Stepped on My Keyboard and Inadvertently Wrote the First Line. K K K K K K K K K T five five R S Z Z Z X X X X X X X X X X X X X X X X X R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R Filbert Nut Hustle News Coffee Creamer No One's Weirder Hazy Hazel Butt Hazel Nut Salem Adler I don't want to die at least not with you here. I am surprised I'm alive. Young and dumb, 1.5 tons of steel and iron. Driven head on into a tree, it should have killed me. 3,025 milligrams of iron. I am surprised you are alive. My greatest pride is that you trust me with your life. I am so thankful that you trust this prideful man. But then again, part of me wishes you were more skeptical of men. Praise dog. My dog is an awesome dog. Amen. When I look down and see your wayward blonde hairs caught in the cotton like dandelion seeds dispersed and come to rest under the Chinese chestnut trees of my forest green retail shirt, I am comforted at work. And when it feels like no one cares if I'm coming home from work. You go crazy every time, so I don't want to die. My peers have daughters, it feels like I'm falling behind. But I do too, I have you. And I'd bet my next paycheck you were harder to raise. Your legs bend at two places, I don't know which one is your elbow. And I have no clue what a do claw do do. What poem can I write you to alleviate your separation anxiety? In my sobriety, you get me high. You will never find me having a silent cry in the next room over because you would not allow me to have gotten there without you there. Separation anxiety is just one way you care. And what poem can I write you to tell you I'm sorry I yelled at you as a puppy when you pissed in the apartment on the carpet and yet I still pee inside to this day. What poem can I write and recite to say, I'm sorry that I bark at you when you bark at someone. I should trust your judgment of their disposition. I'm sorry you eat the same meal on the floor in the kitchen while I have a variety nightly. I'm sorry I implore you to drop it. Every time you have chased what you think is the right thing to do, all the while I'm beating negative thoughts into my mind because the voice of depression is loud and I just can't stop it. We both just can't Drop it. I'm sorry I coax you to let go. Every time I throw a tennis ball and you bring the gift of reliability back to me. All the while I'm so hypocritical. I can't seem to extinguish the past traumas so they just burn out painful and slow. We both just can't let go. I'm sorry that I don't let you off the leash so you can chase that squirrel. I'm sorry I give your mom attention too, but you, you are my number one girl. And I don't want to die, at least not with you here.